Oh, homie, wait! What's wrong with you? What are you trying to hide from me? <laughs> What's that smell? Onions? Chili powder? Cumin? Juicy ground chuck? I'm missing the cook-off! It's going on right now, and I'm missing All right. it! I was trying to keep it from you, but I had a good reason. We are getting serious. John Burns, it involves you, and you are taking on this man. Shannon Bennett, welcome to 3 of Breakfast. <laughs> Cheers, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon B. Australian's Shannon. Australian's Iron Chef. Iron Chef. Yeah. Shannon Bennett from uh, Vieux de Monde is going to at Queen Victoria Market yeah. on Friday, December the 3rd, have a cook-off against John Burns. Mm. Uh, what are you going to cook, gentlemen? What's, the, what's it going to be? Mm. Um, well, we've got to have we've got to do it Iron Chef style. We've got to have secret ingredients yeah. that'll be unveiled in, in that sort of you know that dramatic fashion by the uh, the convener, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll stand there and point at Shannon Bennett and say I challenge Shannon Bennett, and I challenge you to the the omelette challenge. Oh, the omelette chat. Well, yeah. we've got to have truffles over those secret ingredients. Don't mean truffles. Well, truffles in the yard. Uh, <laughs> two, two thousand a kilo, are they? Uh, the white truffles are more actually. Oh, Perhaps wow. we can get them for about seven. But pancake parlour will sponsor that too. That'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm be... sure. I'm, I'm sure they're doing a truffle pancake. At the so, is truffle, you happy for truffles to be part of it? Yeah. Do you like truffles? Oh, I love them. Well, I think truffles mm. are the most beautiful taste in the entire world. Oh, oh, I tell you what. Gorgeous. And you've got to do it simple. Just on a fried egg or an omelette. And it is heaven. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Nice no, or plain pasta. Yes, plain pasta. Mm. Yeah, just something you've got to, truffles have to speak. So you've got to let them simple, simple ingredients. Yeah, I used to go to a restaurant years ago called Carlton Place. I don't know, whatever happened to it. And they served uh, truffles with pasta, and it was just pasta and truffles. Yeah, that, that were the days. I think mean, Melbourne in the 80s was just yeah. so well known for great classical food. And uh, it's starting to come back again. Okay, so uh, how does this work? To explain it to uh, Burns, uh, explain to me, explain to Shannon. You're going to give a, a box of ingredients at the market that morning? Well, obviously there'll be eggs provided to us, mm. and we'll have a cooking station each. I don't want either of you to give away any secrets. Mm. Cooking you know. stadium, it'll be called. No. I'm, I'm taking notes right now, because this is all I know. I <laughs> now, oh, I, d I must say, I do have a slight advantage over you, because remember, a couple of years ago, we interviewed an American fellow from Las Vegas, I think. Oh, the man who could make an omelette in 45 seconds. The world's fastest omelette maker and he came in and he told me uh, uh, as a little secret and I'm not going to tell you what it is. When was the oh, last really? time you Please. cooked an omelette Shannon? Uh, actually it was only a couple of weeks ago. Uh, at I, home or in the restaurant? In the restaurant and at a cooking class actually over in the Middle East but one thing John you've got to remember about omelettes you do not add water and you do not add any cream or milk. I've seen it uh, several times now on television, you know, when they do those yeah. demos, that yeah. they're adding cream and milk to omelettes. Yeah. It's an omelette, no, well, that's it's just egg. That makes it scrambled eggs, really, doesn't it? Yeah, I never add milk or water or anything like that to any eggs. You mm. don't need to. Um, and I, I suppose one of the banes of your existence as a re leading restaurateur is, is having some uh, fruitcake uh, food reviewer come in and then, you know, give you a pasting. You'll be glad to know that uh, the, the judges of this particular pancake parlour cook Oh, yes, uh, are people who really know their food. Highly regarded. It's me, <laughs> Hello Cart. <laughs> and uh, Fred, I mean, his food critic Bob Hart, who brings a little bit of uh, uh, st stability excellent. to the arrangement. Uh, well, I tell you what, if there is the nicest and fairest food critic in the world, it definitely is Bob Hart. Uh, so uh, I hope he's listening, because that should give me at least two more points. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he, won't know, he won't know which omelette is your. Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm tipping he will. <laughs> <laughs> He'll find out. Uh, for all intents and purposes, <laughs> it is a blind tasting, is it not? Yeah. Have you, you've been a judge yourself, though, haven't you, Shannon? Yeah, I've done uh, some judging in my time. It's um, it's good fun. It's actually very hard to be subjective, and uh, particularly if you get to know who is actually you know, cooking for you. So mm. and actually, judging is not as easy as it seems, that's for sure, particularly when you get the terrible food in front of you. When you were on the <laughs> Junior MasterChef last night, were you not? Yes. Uh, as a, a judge, t just t give us the Babe Ruth. Don't give us this, you know, the, 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 the bull tish just because they're little kids. What was the standard of the food like? Excellent, like uh, beyond, way beyond my expectations. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the Adrian Zumbo dessert that they um, recreated was incredible. I'm, uh, putting that little sablé biscuit dough over the top of the shoe pastry, I mean, you can't get professional pastry chefs to do that correctly. And what Jack produced in, in that challenge was absolutely incredible. I, I was blown away. If you could have uh, a meal, your last meal on earth cooked for you by one chef in the world, who would it be? That's a tough one. I actually probably think It'd have to be in the Luberon, and uh, it'd be, the Luberon is a little uh, sort of southern province in Provence, 
and right. it's where all the uh, the national park and where all those villages cling from the side of hills. You see, where it was a, a good year was made. Oh, yeah, Ridley yeah. Scott. That that area is just stunning, and there's there's a great little restaurant there, and the chef is Ed, Edouard Le Bay. And okay. does, What's the restaurant called? Um, La Bastide Le Calamé, and, right. and it's a, a very very beautiful restaurant, two Michelin star, but it's very just classical food. Roast wild duck would be my dish, then followed by a cedar flavored souffle with cinnamon ice cream and dried fruits and it, they put it in at the table and it is that that meal to me that I had there was just so simple and beautiful